good stuff. My friends over at WB sent all of the Wonder Woman limited edition makeup and accessories that are coming out of Walgreens uh, in May is when it officially launches, although I've noticed that drugstore.com and walgreens.com has been eking out a few things here and there. Um, I actually managed to buy a couple lip glosses ahead of time, and I think some of the Facebooks are already sold out, unless they're doing another push when they get closer to the official launch date. So, makeup time! Everybody's been asking. Uh, well, not everybody, but a lot of people have been asking, like, you know, what do I do and use to get ready in the morning and things like that and I don't know it seems weird doing a makeup vid so I thought I'd do a haul instead especially since it revolves around Wonder Woman and we've got the Wonder Woman movie coming out and BVS just dropped and Wonder Woman was awesome in it so it just makes good sense so um first up why don't we do the thing that I bought myself that I actually um currently have an extra and it's probably one of my favorite items it's these oh where to go oh where to go where to go it's these it's these limited edition um wonder woman lip glosses they've got them in three different shades i actually bought some on my own before wb hit me up with these so hey maybe i'll do a giveaway or something i mean i've got the extra um, I'll figure out what to do with this. They're not very expensive, $6.99 for three, totally affordable, awesome packaging. I mean, this is what the box looks like, and then obviously when you take it out, there's just like little tubes, but I like it because it's subtle. It's not like in your face stuff. I'm kind of at that age and just that point and being, you know, around all this stuff for so long that after 10 years, I'm less about like t-shirts that scream fandom and like accessories that scream fandom and more like a little bit more subtle especially for everyday use every once in a while you need to splurge on something crazy but uh, so the first one is this really light pink one called Athena's Kiss the names are really cool too uh, this one is more like a burgundy gloss and it's uh, named is Wonder Woman and then this one here is called Mighty Aphrodite and it's like a more of a hot pink so if you want I will do a little swatch for you here on my hands just so you get an idea so it's not I mean it's I don't want to call it sticky it actually is more like a balm I mean there is a stickiness to it but it's not terrible um, I always kind of compare it to max lip glass which I've always found found to be very sticky oh the pink is really sheer very pink almost like a petal pink might not work if you've got um, super tan skin, I don't know if olive skin would look up at the pink, but. So here it is on my hands. So this is the Wonder Woman. This is the, what was it called again? This is the Athena's Kiss. And then this is the um, Mighty Aphrodite. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of, the lighting's a little weird in here, but that's pretty much what they look like. Uh, I tried a few of them on before, but you know what, I should get Okay. Oh, I don't have a wipey. Uh, what can I use? Oh, sweet! Tissues. So, didn't even know those were in here. Let's do maybe a little um, try on. So let me take what I've got off now, which is pretty beige anyway. Ah, all right. So first up, let's do um, Athena's Kiss. Where's that how that goes in the box? Yeah, we'll do Athena's Kiss first. So that's the light pink one. I'm gonna use you guys actually as my mirror to see. It smells, it tastes like nothing, smells like vanilla frosting. So that's kind of it. It's cute enough. It's very light pink. This isn't probably one that I would wear, but I'd layer it. I wouldn't wear it by itself, but I definitely would layer it over maybe a darker color or like a more beige color. But it's real subtle. So that was Athena. 
Now this one is Mighty Aphrodite. It's the hot pink. And that. Oh, I just missed my lip. It's hard to try and put on lip gloss in a playback loop of yourself. Now this I've actually been wearing lately a lot. Because it's just, I've actually worn it on our last two Nerdist News videos. Not the one that's going to go up today. But the one from yesterday. So, yeah, this is the Mighty Aphrodite. I like this one a lot more. It's um sheer, but it still packs a little bit of a punch with the hot pink. and uh, And yeah, I just really like it. Very glossy, balmy, not really sticky. Um, gets eaten away pretty quickly, so you have to do a lot of applications. But, you know, for six bucks, for one of three for six bucks, that's really good. Again, smells like vanilla frosting, doesn't taste like anything. Okay. And then this one. Ah, it's the Wonder Woman one. And that's the burgundy, with like a little bit of a darker red, a more traditional red. Oh, that's pretty. I actually haven't even put this one on yet. Ooh, I kind of like this even better than the Mighty Aphrodite. It looks almost like a cherry lip stain. It's not nearly as aggressive as it is in the tube. Yeah, this one. This is kind of my jam. Yeah, that's really pretty. Just like, looks like a nice little flushed, slightly above regular lip color. I like it. Hmm. Very nice. So yeah, three lip glosses for six, seven bucks. Pretty good, pretty good. Don't forget, got an extra. Maybe we'll do a giveaway. So let's take that. Well, we'll leave that on for right now until we run into something else. Um, over here, <clears throat> there's the tins for $2.99. Now, these are actually for sale as well as the glosses on uh, drugstore.com and walgreens.com. Um, essentially, again, I got two. I had bought this before. I had gotten the ones from WB, so I have an extra. So we'll just add that to the giveaway pile. Um, this is real basic. It's ba it's essentially a lip smacker lip balm in a tin, just in a Wonder Woman tin. I like the design, super cool, super cute. Smells like, you know, lip smacker strawberry, which is not really strawberry, more of like a chemical sweet weirdness. Sugar. Tastes like sugar. Um, very smooth, absolutely no color whatsoever. It's completely clear, even though it's got a little bit of a red red tint in the uh, thing. But see, like, there's, like, nothing. No color. So what I've been using this one for is actually, before bed, I'll just put it on and uh, use it as, like, a lip moisturizer. Or if I, um, you know, have dry lips in the morning, I will put it on there as well. So, super cute. There you go. Pretty basic. Very nice. Um... Let's see. So this other stuff that I have, I haven't tried at all. Um, so this should be an adventure. <laughs> We've got the only lipstick that I've seen them come out with, like an actual true lipstick, not a gloss, not a balm. This is um, the. It's called heroin, as in not, uh, not heroin, but heroin. As in, you know, Superwoman. <laughs> and it's a real, real hardcore, mm, I think it's matte. It looks matte. Ooh, yeah, real matte red lipstick. Um, a lot of color payoff. Not sure how much this one's going for. I can't imagine much if the glosses are as cheap as they are. Um, Sorry, I had a uh, pop-up that decided to intrude just then. Um, so yeah, let's try this one on. Okay. So because this is so bright and so matte, I gotta be real careful putting this on. 
Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, it's not as, I'm doing it crooked. I look like I got crooked lips. Um, it's not as mad as I thought it would be, but That's pretty, pretty good. Okay. Huh? Huh? That's pretty good. Oh, I've got some sharp Cupid bow lips. Um, very red. But a very true red, almost by judging from this light. Here, I'll put it on my hand too. Judging from this light, I, I'd almost call it a pinky red. So that's what it looks like. And that, you know, uh, God, I put on lipstick every day. How do I manage to mess this up? Reds are hard. One minor mistake in your eff. But that's, you know, I mean, that's pretty much a standard Wonder Woman lip color. She liked her reds. Um, and I believe that these are also available on certain, um, on the walgreens.com. And let's see. That's not bad. I'll leave that on for a little bit. So, next up, <clears throat> that I haven't seen available yet, is... The Wonder Woman liquid liner. So an eye for justice liquid liner set. First time I'm opening this. I have no idea how it's gonna be. So let's just open it up. It kills me to open these. The packaging is so cool. And it's just, you know, you've got that never remove from box mentality kicking into your head, especially since these are limited edition and they're already kind of hard to come by. It's really making it tough to open these boxes. <laughs> Real tough. Alright, so um, here's what they look like out of the box. Super cute, real nice and subtle. You got a blue, we got like a gold shimmer glitter one, and the black. Black is warrior black, gold is golden lasso, and uh, blue is superhero. So. Let me see. I'll put these on my hand. I've already got tons of eye stuff on. Ooh. So the blue, oh man. I'll have to plan these better for you guys. The blue is very surprisingly sheer. Like, I don't know. It's hard for me to get here. Let me do it like this. I thought it'd be thicker because it's so dark in the tube, but it's actually pretty sheer. And it's got a bit of a sheen to it. I don't personally ever wear blue eyeshadow or eyeliner or anything, but um, yeah, I'm not, I don't know about the blue. I gotta tell you, I know why they did it. I'm just not really digging the blue. Let me see, what do they smell like? They don't really have a smell. I mean, there's a little bit of an eyeliner smell, but that's it. So, here's Golden Lasso. Let's see, and that's, oh, that's pretty. I don't know if you can see that real well, but that's real pretty. Let me try over here. Just a nice little, like, shimmer. Let me see if I could put it on my eyes and make it a little bit. We'll just go above my, we'll go above, all right? Oh my God, this is so hard to do. Like that. I'm gonna have one eye, that's gold. To the other side just so that they match but you can see it's like super subtle you can probably you could build on it and just tap that in so I don't look like a total weirdo when I walk out of here with like 15 different colors on my face um, you can build up on it so like let the first coat dry and keep adding more and more of the glitter if you want it super glittery and it looks like really cool 
So there's that. And then let's try the black. Brush durable for the eyeliner. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty sta it's a standard, standard eyeliner brush. I don't think that these are going to give you any problems whatsoever. Um, let's try the black one. So this is the Warrior. Ooh, yeah. That's a one that's a one hit wonder right there. That is instantly dark goes on super nice, super even coat, dries really fast. Brush is very um let me figure out where. Okay. The brush is very fine tip so you can really get in and do those like wings off to the side. I think that'll look good. This is a success. This is a success. This one, uh, I don't know, not really feeling it, not digging the color, and also just kind of a little too sheer, but, um, you know, couldn't hurt to have in your collection, especially for how cheap the makeup is, and the fact that it's one woman. Who knows, maybe you use it for a cosplay outfit or something. Never hurts to have at least one of each color in your makeup collection because you'll never know when you're going to use it. So next up, I'm going to take this little stick off too because it's all it's so red <laughs> and I just don't really wear a lot of red. There we go. We'll put the um, burgundy back on because I really liked this. I really liked this a lot. There we go. Mmm, that's good. I like that. So, <clears throat> I guess I should show you both of these at the same time. I kind of wanted to show you separately, but, but they both have an eyeshadow inside of it. So that's why I feel like I should show you what's up first. Ah, no, we'll do one at a time. So first up for $6.99, again, is the Wonder Woman Paradise Island eyeshadow. Oh, uh, again, killing me to open the box. Let's get it open here. So I haven't opened this one yet either. The mirror, obviously, oh gosh, they're so good at marketing these things. Careful so I don't bust it. Um, the mirror obviously has a Wonder Woman decal on it, and I just got a little disappointed because this comes off, but then there's nothing on the back on the case that says Wonder Woman. I guess what you could do, let's see, is stick the decal on the top of the case, but if this is going to be rattling around in your makeup bag, I don't know how long it's going to stay. So that does work. And I'm going to leave it like that because I, I want it to be, um, I want it to have Wonder Woman on it, especially when the lip glosses and stuff have that nice little Wonder Woman double W logo. Uh, so that's a little bit of a hmm, but I guess you can make it work. So the decal goes on the back. And it looks fine. I just don't know how long it's gonna stay. Meh. So, let's see. These shadows are, let me see if I can read these upside down so I can show you the shadows and then tell you the names. These are Olympia Wisdom, Strength, Heroic Beauty, Spitfire, Spirit of Truth, Victorious, and Freedom Fighter. And so, running down it's like you've got a you know like um i'd call that a bone color i wouldn't quite call that white which is actually you want to use this on your uh your brow bone more than you want to use a pure white because pure white's not really a skin like a true skin color like this is a little bit closer it has a little bit of yellow in it and it'll help that highlight look a little bit more natural um this looks like more of a taupe a little bit darker version of that, even more of a gray. With um, and all of these, with the exception of I think the uh, bone and this like burgundy shade are shimmer. Even the black has a bit of a shimmer to it. Um, but the burgundy and the bone are matte. 
so yeah, you've got like a like a light gray or a taupe right here, um, a darker gray uh, with a little bit of a purple undertone, a burgundy, kind of a brick color, um, and then you start getting into like a dark gray, almost black with like a green undertone, a dark gray, I'd actually even just call this navy, a navy shade, and then black itself. There is a double-sided eyeshadow brush here that's kind of just stuck in there with some um, like sticky that like sticky tack that you can just rub off to get out. I'd say ditch the brush or just keep it for emergencies if you think this is something you're going to carry around with you. Um, but you should always just use like a proper eyeshadow brush rather than these. Although these are good to kind of get into the corners if you want to highlight like a little bit of your your little area right there. That's not too bad. I mean, they work. They do the trick. Emergencies. Um, let me see if we can do a little swatch here. I'll do just a couple of them on my fingers. Pretty smooth. Goes on really well. Color payoff is nice. Actually, that this tone right here, this like purpley burgundy, almost looks like a bronze. So I don't know if you can see, but this was, um, I did this kind of backwards. This was bone. This is this uh, taupe color, like a light tan almost on my finger. This is that dark gray with the shimmer. And this is the little purpley bronzy one. Um, I would probably use from here up, but still that's one, two, three, four, five eyeshadows for Six ninety nine. Uh, the colors are good. I'm concerned that they might end up looking a little muddy, muddy once you start trying to blend them together. But overall, not too bad. And then it's always nice to have a black so that if you want, you can go over and like smudge your eyeliner and make it like a smoky eye. So there's that. Man, I'm gonna have to like take a bath after this. I've got so much stuff on me. Okay, so now we come to the one thing that I've seen sold out all over the place, and that is the Facebook. So this has um, eyeshadow, blush, uh, but I've taken a peek and I've looked at the blush and to me it seems more like a bronzer. Um, black liquid eyeliner, which if it's anything like the one we tried earlier in the eyeliner pack is perfect. Um, lipstick, which I think is a smaller version, like a travel size of this and eyeshadow primer, which I haven't seen sold separately anywhere. So this is what the book looks like, and you get to keep, obviously, the packaging because everything's packaged inside. Has a little mirror on the inside so you can look at yourself. Oh my God, oh, it's an inception! Whoa, it goes on forever, Wonder Woman. Um, and it has like a cute little quote in here of all people, you know, who I am, who the world needs me to be, I am Wonder Woman. And then here's all your stuff. So you've got the eyeshadows, and they're slightly different from the ones that you got in the eyeshadow case that we just looked at. You've got your blush here, which I said I actually think looks more like a bronzer. You got a number, another one of those double-ended um, kind of like eyeshadow throwaway brushes, but might as well keep it. Um, eyeshadow primer, uh, a lipstick, little mini red lipstick, and the black eyeliner, which is actually in a different tube than the other one. So let's take the plastic off. There's a plastic little protecting cover on this. You know what? Um, which, I think if you tried hard enough, you could detach it, but it, they actually kind of leave it in so that it doesn't mess everything up. So we'll just leave it in for right now. So, let's go down the list. <clears throat> this is Golden Age, Legendary Pink, Modern Age, Golden Tiara, Amazon Princess, Marine Ultra, Secret Identity, Emancipation, and Valiant. And so the similar ones, so Emancipation uh, is very reminiscent. Let me see if I can do a comparison here. It's like, hard. I've only got so many hands. I see why girls on YouTube totally jump cut this shit. Cause this is too hard to do as like a one gigantic flow. So you can see it's all somewhat similar, but 
just slightly different. I think the closest ones that match up are Marine Ultra with the dark blue that's here at the base, the Valiant which matches the black, although this black seems a little less shimmery, but it's pretty it's got to be pretty much the same thing. No, I mean, I think this is a different one. This one's more of a matte black and this one is more of a shimmer black. Um, Modern Age is totally new. It doesn't match anything that you get in the eyeshadow palette. Legendary Pink isn't offered in the eyeshadow palette. This Amazon Princess one, oh, this looks awesome. It's like this really kind of beigey pink shimmer, like really shimmery I don't know if you can see it. I mean, it's. We're gonna have to get better lighting in here next time. But <clears throat> it's really pretty. It's really, really pretty, and it's very subtle. It's it it's not nearly as intense as it looks on here. But I actually kind of like it that way. Then there's golden tiara, which is um, not a good color. <laughs> it's. I think they're trying to go for gold, and instead they kind of gotten a shimmery pea green. So skip golden tiara. That is that is not a color you want to use. Um, golden age kind of matches the bone color that was in here, but I think that this one has a little bit more shimmer to it. And then secret identity is another one that's like right up my alley. And that ooh big color payoff on that one. This would be great as like a crease or a liner. And then you have emancipation, which is I think the only matte one in here and that's really close to Amazon Princess so this is essentially the same color as that but this has more of a shimmer and this is a matte version <clears throat> Grace and Power is the name of the blush that I oh well it is a little bit more pinky than a bronze if you're fair this might work for you as a bronzer and more of a blush if you're more olive tone or darker and it, yeah it's pretty good I, I'm gonna have to give that a shot that's actually looks again a lot darker in the case than it does on your skin ah, plastic so let's check out these this lipstick which I'm pretty sure is the exact same thing but oh, you know what it is really well packaged in there so that you can't get it out so I'm gonna use this and Pop it out. Let's see. Now I know why they gave you these sticks. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> so yeah, same exact kind of lipstick as we did over here. Just a little mini travel version. Very cute. Very cute. Did you guys hear that? I just burped. <laughs> you didn't hear that. I like the case. That's really nice and tiny. Reminds me of those old Avon little sample lipsticks that you used to get back in the day. Loved those. Loved those. Um, here is the eyeliner. Eyeliner. Like that it's different packaging from what we have here so that I'll just, once I use this one up, I can just switch over here and I still have a Wonder Woman thing. Um, let's see here. This is black called Warrior. Yeah, same thing. Warrior Black. And it's got the same kind of really um, nice fine tip brush. Same formula, so just different packaging, which is cool. I like that variety. Put that back in here. And then the eyeshadow primer. Now, I haven't seen this advertised anywhere separately, so I wonder if you can only get it in this bullet book. Or bullet book. Why did I even call it that? I meant this makeup book. Why am I thinking bullets? Maybe I'm thinking... Shing, 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 bullets. So, yeah, pretty standard. Eyeshadow primer. Goes on really nice. Doesn't leave any kind of, um, any kind of color. Just kind of mattifies and brightens up the area. Worth having. I like that it's small. Again, travel enough. These little small samples become your best friends. So that is the makeup book. Should you buy it? I think this is the most expensive thing that they offer in the makeup section of it all because there's other accessories that you can get for 
Um, if you wanted to try kind of everything at once, then yeah, I think that's worth it. You've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine shadows, a blush, and then a little mini lipstick, the primer and the eyeliner. I mean, that seems like a pretty decent haul with along with the actual case, which is nice because it kind of protects it all up and just looks cool. Um, yeah, I'd say for, for 12 bucks, that's that's pretty worth it. You've got at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the nine shadows that are hardcore usable everyday stuff, unless you're really into blue, which, hey, I'm not knocking you. That's your jam. That's just not my jam. So that's how I look at it. I've got at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven usable shadows and then everything else. So yeah, that seems like a good deal. Good for like hit it all at once. And then if you think, you, oh, no, I'm more of like a lip gloss person or whatever, then just focus on buying the little things. Uh, should you get this eyeshadow palette, if you're dying to just kind of have something that you can carry around, I'd say, yeah. I almost say you're better off buying the book. If this had a logo, I'd say absolutely, but it doesn't. It just has the decal. And um, I don't know. Just... I would say get this before you get this. Not that this is bad, just, you know, it needed a little oomph. So, <clears throat> now we're moving on into the accessories. So there's three things that I see here. The One of the big ones that I personally wanted and was eyeballing all of the dot coms for <clears throat> was a set of makeup brushes that they have. And if you look at the advertisement that they had, that people were showing, I think it was on like Mary Sue or something like that. There's a couple that had like a, um, a flyer. The makeup brushes look slightly different in the flyer than they actually do in the box. And the flyer, if I remember correctly, they were spread out and the bristles were like a dark blue or a sky blue that turned into a white near the end, almost like a gradation. These are hot pink and blue. And I still love them though. And it comes with a little carrying case that is Wonder Woman themed. So I am stoked for this. Looking at them, they're definitely, you know, uh, I hate to call it on the, they're definitely um, mm, questionable bristles, but we'll see. You know, you never know till you open it up. Um, this is always going to be a use. This is always a use. If you don't want to use it as a blending tool, this is good to put on concealer or to tap really well into the eye right here if you're like doing the glitter effect with your eye primer. That's, how, that's what helps make that glitter stick. So let's open this up and check out and see how good these are. So yeah, five piece face set. They've got the fluffy face brush, blending eyeshadow brush, pointed lip brush, lash and brow groomer, and a purse kit. Oh, so that must be the lip brush. And then that's the blending eyeshadow brush. Although I wouldn't use that for blending. I'd actually go buy a blending brush that you want to have, which is um, shaped differently. It's shaped more like a, um, like the bristles kind of come up to a point, more like a dome rather than a flat brush. This was actually better for, um, oh, these are soft. Ooh, this is a win. These are actually better for, yeah, I would totally use this as like a concealer brush. And like getting in the corners and blending all that out or a um, like if you had wanted to do a glitter shadow and you just want to press it on there I'd use that as like a glitter brush surprisingly soft this makes me very happy to see uh, as you can see up close it's got the um, Wonder Woman star uh, theme and I just noticed this just now there's a little Wonder Woman logo emblazoned on like metallic part of the brush very excited for this oh, very excited um yeah wow these all feel really good how much are these going for ah it doesn't have a price tag on here oh yep 10.99 for this and it's made by london soho new york so 10.99 for the five piece brush set including the pouch so, okay, yeah, this, I don't know if I'd use this as a powder unless I maybe wanted to use it as like a loose mini powder, like I had a little, I'm thinking for like work and stuff, like I usually use um, 
really loose powders to come in and do this so that there's not a lot of glare when I'm shooting stuff because we use so many lights. But this would also be a really good blush brush because it kind of fits perfectly right in right that hollow of your cheek. Very soft. Um, lip brush, again, very nice. Doesn't have the best cap, which is something you kind of need when you have lip brushes unless you want to wipe them off every single time, and kind of, which you probably should, but I don't. Um, still really soft. Still's got the, uh, each piece has a logo on it. Each piece has the like stars. Very nice. You can also use, I learned this little trick from Mac. If you've got like a nice brush like this, you can use it as like an eyeliner brush as well and just like really get in there. Um, and also again, like a good, uh, some people use these for concealer brushes when you're putting concealer here to get rid of like any red spots, but I, I prefer to use like lip brushes either as an eyeliner thing um, as a highlighting out brow thing so I can get in there and close to my eyebrows as possible or just as it's meant to be as an eyeliner brush or a uh, lipstick brush. And then I'm always after these. Oh no, I dropped it. The eyebrow brush and eyelash comb because I am always doing that. I've always got to unstick my lashes. So, here's the little carrying case, on tab, got a nice little case, just pop them up, let's see, let's put them all in here, see how well they fit. Fit perfectly. Oh, and then if you don't want to use it as a brush case, you could probably use this as like a little lipstick bag or a coin purse or something. Very cute, love that pretty good for 11 bucks. Next up, and then after that we only have one more thing so that this doesn't have to continue on and drag it on for you guys. Um, another makeup bag, this one, even though it looks like it has the uh, star design underneath the logo, that actually is an insert. So let's take that out. And instead it's clear, you can see through it. This thing right here, it's a motherfucking cape for your makeup bag. Your makeup bag has a cape. That is awesome. And you've got like a little star pull to represent Wonder Woman. <laughs> I love that it has a cape. So this is $9.99, so 10 bucks. And uh, super cute, super, I mean, you can never have enough of these, especially if you travel a lot, just toss in a bunch of your liquids and stuff, put it in there, send it through security. Since it's clear, they can see everything, you're good to go. Just make sure you're under, what, three ounces now for liquids, I think? I don't know, you always gotta check. They change it all the time. So that's just a nice buy. And then this, for your big makeup hauls, this is like a really nice, big, puffy, just makeup carrying case. It's got Wonder Woman all over the place on it. I like that they're going for more of a classic style Wonder Woman too. It's got two star pulls. I don't know if you can see them. Two star pulls so that you can just go ahead and open it like this. It's stuffed full of paper right now. So let's take that out so you can see the inside lining. Has the stars all over it. And there you have it. Super cute. This one is $11.99, so $12. I mean, all of this stuff is really affordable. I think a lot of this is perfect for fans that just want to have, you know, something cute and eat, like, fun and easy and, you know, don't worry about, like, some of the stuff, like, with the MAC stuff. I loved the MAC line, but they didn't offer much in the, it did just, you know, it's so expensive, you get worried that, when to, you get worried to use it. You don't want to use it because you don't want to use it up because it's so expensive and because it's a one-time deal, you're nervous about it. So, you know, and then when you finally do decide, oh, I should have gotten that, it's all sold out and people are selling it on eBay or whatever for like 10 times the amount. Well, this is a great way, I mean, you've got everything from like a $6.99, no, actually to a $2.99 Wonder Woman item all the way up to the most expensive which is 11 12 bucks which is the face box or the face box and the um, purse. So I mean there's something here for everybody. Um while not all of the colors might work for you, a great majority will. And I also think this is good um no I don't know about you guys, but you know, 
if you got a little girl and she's kind of exploring the whole makeup thing and you don't want to just, you know, she doesn't have a lot of options, like toss a Tastes like strawberries. It's great. All right, guys, I'm getting blown up here all over the place. Uh, everybody's calling me, so I must be missing out on something. I will talk to you very, very soon. And uh, thanks. See you guys. Thank you for watching. I actually have another haul that I'm going to do that is additional stuff that I got that is not makeup related, but actually um, collabs that they have with jewelry and clothing lines. So maybe we can do that tomorrow. Bye!